mentioned punks and pinstripes. I've been following that uh, mentality ever since I first saw you present that uh, five years ago. When when did you start that? That was uh, such a cool thing that that you joined. Or did you even start punks and pinstripes? Uh, Greg Larkin started the CEO of punks and pinstripes, and he and I met about five years ago at the How Design Conference. And he wrote a book called This Might Get Me Fired. And I was so inspired by that book because everything that was in that book we were doing at the Home Depot was just different language. And yeah. so whether it was fighting corporate obstructionism, working in a company where innovation wasn't necessarily authorized all the time, finding the godfather, creating a secret society of design thinkers as well, and going across an organization, almost like a Trojan horse, and coming in and changing the way people worked. It was pretty much word for word. And so Greg and I became fast friends. And then he started Punks and Pinstripes and recruited me and about 50 or 60 others as well, too, which we like to think as rebels in the boardroom, where we're yep. creating change and innovation. And people like us are unconventional. And you need that to create innovation because there's probably a whole level or line of leadership that needs to retire. And you need punks to come through to be able to create change and innovation in a company. Otherwise, you're just going to be doing stuff the same way we've done it. And that's the last thing you want to hear in a company. Yeah, no doubt. I've followed it very closely because I, I very much associate myself to that mentality where, you know, I'm not afraid to say the things that no one else is willing to say. I'm not afraid to um, speak up when everyone else thinks it's taboo, that kind of stuff. So it feels like that that kind of falls into that same mentality. Yeah, agreed. You have to have the fortitude to be able to do that and the courage. Um, and you have to be smart as well, too. So it's right, finding those individuals that can provide that that ring that will help you push through as well. So yeah, I've been through that. I've been called unconventional pretty much throughout my career. And I like that because creatives look at things a lot differently. And so I appreciate that. I like being called unconventional, but not to the point where I'm being stupid in an organization either, but you have to take chances. 